another animal from the story. I'll give you a clue. He goes, Can you guess who it is? Shall I show you? I made a snowy owl. I didn't use my toothbrush this week. I used something else I found in the home. Let me show you. I used a shower sponge. Now I've got lots of these in my cupboard because I kept getting them as little stocking presents at Christmas time, but they don't wear out. So I decided to use it for my art. So I had some white paint in a pot and I just dipped the shower sponge in the paint and then I just pressed it on the paper. Now that's quite easy for little ones because they can just grasp the sponge and just pat, pat, pat. So if they can't make the eyes or the beak of the owl, that doesn't matter, they can just do a snowy picture. But for the older children, like Jane was saying about the fine motor skills, we can cut out some circles and some triangles. So I had circles for the eyes, triangle for the beak, and then two little triangles for his feet. So you could have a go at that. So you could just either do the sponging, which is quite easy for little ones to make a snowy picture, and the older children can have a go at turning it into an owl, a snowy owl from the story. Caroline, if you didn't yes. have paint, could you yes. use um, like flour and water? You can. Um, do, if the, the, the parents that were here in the early days, if they remember, I didn't have any paint in the house and I made homemade paint and I used flour, water and just a little bit of food colouring all mixed together and I had paint. But now I'm quite lucky because I managed to get some paint so I don't have to make my own every week. So that's a bit easier for me. That's great. Thanks, Caroline. Right. Well